um, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing that you know when we're looking into uh, using the Sven, let's hurry up. Come on, you need to be spend, spending time over here. We don't have got time for that. Um, yep. Huh? Uh, yeah, I have a computer back over there. You can get them. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, um, the main important thing is you guys understand the a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I really don't like using that because a lot of students get stuck on the side lengths always have to be. Is it a or is it b? Or hypotenuse always have to be c. It really doesn't matter, guys. It's just They're just variables. So I prefer to think of this as side squared plus side squared equals hypotenuse squared. Okay, That's the way I like to think about it. Because in reality, you're just taking the two sides, and all you really need to know is what is the one hypotenuse. So in your geometry class, hopefully you remember that the hypotenuse is always not only the longest side, but the hypotenuse is always directly across from your 90 degree angle. So therefore, I can see that my two sides are going to be square root of 3 and x. So I have square root of 3 squared plus x squared equals 2 square root of 3 squared. Does everybody see what I did there? OK, so now all we're simply going to do, square root of 3 squared is 3, x squared is x squared, and then 2 square root of 3 is 2 square root of 3 times 2 square root of 3. So you've got to do 2 times 2. And then we already, we already practiced with multiplying radicals. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to be square root of 9, which is 3. So 3 times 4 equals 12. Then I subtract 3. I have x squared equals 9. Now I'm going to introduce the square root. So remember, introducing the square root, ladies and gentlemen, you have to include plus or minus. Right? You have to include the plus or minus. However, let's think about the context of this problem. We're not finding the solutions that satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. We're finding the length of a triangle. Can the length be negative? Nope. No. So therefore, we're not going to consider the negative length, because there is no such where you can't have a negative length. So we're only going to use the positive as the answer. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So the context of the problem allows us to change our answer. <coughs> 